Okay, we are approaching ground zero. The party barn is very sheetrocked. Oh, Daisy's home from school. I think she just abandoned her closet and she's just like no, sharing I, closets. I with, it's fine. Well, hey, here's the thing I have a problem with. All my clothes look a little cuter on her because they're not so tight. Hey, I wish Susie was here. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to the April and Davey vlog where you are guaranteed to see exciting and innovative things. Today, April has bought these Rats. and she is put, using them Listen, to put in the kids' lunches. My kids are not gonna have ranch in a baggie anymore. Like, How living like savages. I bought these little cuppies for my babies. Maybe they can it's dip their carrots in the ranch. Isn't that cute? <laughs> They prefer the home lunches. They really love it. Why? Is it because they get candy? Or is it, uh, oh, I think it's EB. I think actually she just doesn't like to wait in line. Like there's no line. Yeah, I think that. That's my I girl. Stay out of the lines. I don't like lines. I don't like waiting in lines. Okay, you've given her that anxiety. That's great. Uh, it's natural. Listen. I give it to her. I think that, that the culture in the school that they were in before was everyone like ate the home lunch, or the school lunch. More kids ate the school lunch. The, here, the kids are like, almost no one eats the school lunch. <laughs> so, they just, they ask for it every day. But I actually have been loving making it, and here's why. They don't start till later, the other There's school time. we were going to. By now, they'd have to actually be at school. That's like, I'm just, I'm still like this. Not, not doable. Okay, sourdough bread in the house. It's a little flat, I'm not gonna lie. I could you haven't be... been making it very much. I know, my, my start needs to be a little bit healthier. Crazy, the bread. You know, I'm just, I'm loving our daily visits to the house. I love seeing every bit of progress because it means we're just this much closer to getting manager, in there. The, the, the building manager is probably like sick of us. Like, yeah, like, here. Can you guys move away from us? <laughs> no, we're catching stuff. Like April caught the sink, so oh. thank goodness. That would have been a lot of work to add later, but uh, I think the sheetrock guys are there, so I want to go see some more progress on the sheetrock. So, you ready to go? I just love being there. I would live there if I, I know, could I right now. I know, I want to just live there. Okay, we are approaching ground zero. The party barn is very sheetrocked. Wow. I think it's party time. Yes. Look, it's done. I kind of love the two doors back there. I just picture like between the two doors, like a soda bar. Let's throw a party right now. Windows, yeah, we can see it all. Frank was just checking to see if the movie was on. Not yet. What room's this, Frank? Um, this is my office. That's right. Oh, okay, come on. Here's where they had to cut into the ceiling to do the plumbing. Right there. This train. It's big different music, huh? Oh, Daisy's home from school. Oh. I got reenacting. Oh. My baby girl. She's finally I home. I actually really feel like this. I'm not acting, Daisy. Daisy, um... I love you. Hurt her nose the other day. We talked about it. Let's just get an update. It's looking way better. Yesterday, I was like, my you gosh. Guys, I saw a picture I feel bad of her, for her when she was like three, little and Daisy. I almost started crying Where's our today? little Daisy? Look but at I, her. Like, I'm so proud of who you are. I just, like, can't believe that you're my same How does it happen? It seems like a different... All my clothes. Every morning, Daisy's just. She's not mad closets. about being the same size. I think as her she just mom. abandoned her closet and I she's just, just like no, sharing I, closets I with It's fine. Well, here's time. the thing I have a problem with. All my clothes look a little cuter on her because they're not so tight. <laughs> what? Do you want to do your laundry? I'm not saying it don't. I mean, I don't know where my laundry basket went. Okay, there's a, few, in... there's a few in there. Like a dirty clothes or clean dirty clothes? Dirty clothes. Yeah, it's in there. Oh. It just got covered. Okay. I mean, you wear her clothes. That's fine. You wear it, but we should also do laundry. I, I am. Okay. That you're lucky. Hey guys, what's up? I'm just trying to find my salt and vinegar chips. This is my third bag that the kids have stolen, and I'm just looking around. 
Uh, oh my gosh. You'd rather me eat Takis? What is happening? No, these are way better for you than Takis. Well, they're pretty much all the way from, so. Pretty much. Well, aren't you just having your own little party in here? Carry on. All right, Ambry and I are on our weekly date. It's finally our turn. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. You're not wearing your furs. You're a stinker. I made sure not to take a break all day except for dancing. <laughs> so I can not wear it. Okay, so we are, we're at Corn Bellies. Just me and her, we can do whatever the heck we want. We're gonna go and get food, of course. All right, we got a cheeseburger and a yummy corn dog. Some lemonade. Life is good. Life is good. What do you want to do after this? Corn mm. churro? Yes. <laughs> so I just noticed something you inherited from dad. You always leave one bite of your food. Did you notice that? <laughs> Daddy I does the same did. thing. I was like, that must be hereditary because I eat all of it, like every last bite. And Davey always leaves one bite, even if he's still hungry. I like, we'll go out to sushi and he still is like, ooh, I want some more. And he'll like leave one bite of sushi. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I do that. Churros. There was no one here. So I could have her double toast it because I wanted it crispy and she did it. It's amazing. No looky. There's like nothing in there. Hey, I wish Susie was here because look, it's barnyard basketball. <laughs> she used to try to say that when she'd come to Corn Bellies and we were all cracking up because she could not say it. I miss her. We need to get Susie back. We need to have Susie come back to America. Sign the petition in the link in my bio right now. Just kidding. <laughs> hmm, we do, we really do want them to come back and visit Nacho and Susie. We need Paola back too and Roberta. LaSalle, she really hasn't been here forever. What if we did a big reunion where all the exchange students came and hung out at the same time? Oh, you'll tell them that. We just invite all of them. <laughs> Have them all wrestle. See who's the top exchange student. The Cornetto! to make them lighter and more capable of flying. We made it! This is probably, this is actually the very first time in my life I think that I've actually started and completed a corn maze from start to finish. I I just set a record for myself. <laughs> We're playing cornhole. Go ahead, Em. We're both so bad. I mean, that was better than what we've been doing. Here, I, I'm gonna go. Okay, here we go.
<laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, guys, what did we get done today? We... House progress happening. I washed the cars today. House is a mess. Ambry, enter your deer zones. Yeah. Ambry pets. EB was just showing me her makeup setup. EB. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, Daisy, you're gonna be so sad when you don't get to share a room with EB. So sad. Don't cry every day when I'm moving to a new house. Okay, okay, EB, show me what you got. This. Frankie did a lot of damage to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. This one didn't really do a lot oh, of yeah, damage. Oh, yeah, it didn't get to the bottom. That's good. Well, that's really nice. You got all your stuff set up. Yeah, some chapstick, some... some... This is moisturizer and red lipstick. Mm. Brush. Mm. Scrunchy. Oh, just all the things. Glad I didn't throw this away. Oh my goodness, it just keeps getting better. What's Daisy reading over and there? And... Daddy. Oh. Amazing. Oh, there's the monkey. All right, guys. Um, we're going to wrap things up with the vlog now. Nighttime Thanks for... With yeah, nighttime routine. Make him laugh, Listen. make him laugh. And now he demands a drink. You got to get him full. one. It's got to be ice cold. Right, ice Frank? Ice cold water. Uh, yeah! <laughs> then what do we do now? Then we try to convince you to sleep in your own bed. Go in your own bed and I'll tell you a story. No, I want to go in my No, go in here. No. Come here. No. <laughs> no. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a story and mommy. When we're in the house, then Davey's like, this is where our bed's going to go. And he goes, and this is where my puppy bed's going to go, right <laughs> at the foot of the bed. <laughs> he, he did exactly where in the room where it was going to go. He has a perfectly good bed and he chooses to sleep. He doesn't even care if he's in our bed. He just has to be in our room That's at so the foot funny. of the bed. He just has to be there. We don't like him in our bed because he sleeps sideways and kicks us and hits us both in the head the whole night and keeps us awake. But he's accepted puppy bed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he prefers that. that. I'll try to get him in there. I prefer that. But then usually sometimes we'll like move him in and then he wakes he's up. He's like a boomerang. He comes back. Comes right back. Always comes back. But if he's on the ground in our room, the trick is Daisy and Ambry come in there in the morning to get their teeth and makeup done, teeth brush and makeup on, and they'll like sometimes accidentally step on him because they can't they see. They watch like, pretty good. She's but... like, oh, I just accidentally kicked him in the head. I'm like, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even wake up. Oh um, man. Okay, go in your room and I'll tell you a story. Terrorist <laughs> negotiations here at the Orga House. Okay, guys, we're going to end the vlog now. I have some negotiations to do. Thanks for watching. Find good in everything, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Find good in everything.